disc sander. As always, review the machine's SOP for operational safety checks, housekeeping, potential hazards, and what is forbidden. For this machine, double check that the belt has no holes or tears and that the table is no more than two millimeters away from the belt or disc. The vacuum must be connected and on as you operate the machine. It is forbidden to sand very small items, sharpen tools, or sand anything that isn't wood, aluminum, or plastic. To adjust the belt table, loosen the knob on its right side and adjust to the desired angle. You can adjust the disc table in the same way. Turn on the vacuum before you turn on the sander. Keep the workpiece firm against the table and with an even pressure, move it across the entire belt. Constantly moving it ensures that you aren't wearing out a singular spot, causing a hole or tear. When operating the disc sander, And that's why we don't sand in the So remember that the disc is rotating counterclockwise and that you should only be sanding on the left side of the disc. Again, constantly move the workpiece across the entire effective area so that you don't create tears. Using force isn't necessary, so keep an even pressure and the sandpaper will do all the work for you. Only wood, aluminum, and plastic is allowed. When sanding small items, use a vice grip to create a secure hold and follow the same operations. Sanding tools is not allowed.